1976 Rover 2200, 2200 TC. It's the TC, this one in yellow. Zoom out a bit there, so I'm going to look right body weight wise. We're going to start off at the top of the bonnet, work our way around. We have a touch in there on that scuttle and a few little marks across the top there on the back of the bonnet. As you come around on the right hand side, you see a few little marks in here on the scuttle as we come down the bonnet, nice and straight around those bonnet moulds there, all nice and tidy across there. No paint lift as we come across on the left hand side, you'll see a bit of corrosion there and a few little dents. Go further down, there is various little marks on the bonnet as we come across the leading edge there. Again, a few little marks on the leading edge, a little bit of a blur there by the barge. As we come further down onto the headlights now, all nice and clear, nice and clean. The grill's all crack free, so the headlight surrounds all nice and clean and clear. The bumper looks all right, a little bit of pit in the bumper across the chrome, but it's nice and straight. So the overriders. Your driving lamps down there again, nice and straight. We've got a little bit of something going on underneath the headlights. If the camera will pick that up, you can see that there. That is on both sides of the car. As we come around onto the driver's front wing again, it's like a textured paint or something going on there. Around the wheel arch is all nice and straight. We've got a few stone chips on the wheel arch. But as we go around, I'm just going to do some dodgy camera up there. Just have a proper look at that. Across the bottom of the sills look alright, wheels and hubcaps are okay, are presentable, nice and usable this one, nice and straight down both sides, as they come down the bottom of the driver's door, got a little bit of a ding there, and a few little blebs across the bottom of the door, as you come up above the chrome strip we've got a few little parking dents in the actual paintwork there, in the bodywork, I don't know if the camera, you can see that there, around the door handle a few little marks here and there, a little bit of paint on the seal at the back there as well. Chrome around the sun where the windscreen looks okay. We've got a bit of corrosion around the aerial and at the top of the screen on the left hand side. A few little blebs on the roof. A few little bits in the paintwork as you come across the roof and we'll work our way down onto the back of the driver's door. The seal's a little bit perished across the top of there and a few little marks down the bottom of the door as well. You can see those there, the sill cover looks all right, satin black. As we come around the rear arch, that looks fairly solid. And again, some textured paint on the bottom half there, up the rear quarter, across the arch on the top half. Again, looks okay. This sort of swage line there looks all all right. As we come down, rear light lenses are crack free. On both sides again, a little bit of pitting around the surrounds, around the number plate and the back bumper. We've got some pitting on the back bumper again, nice and straight though. A little bit on the bottoms of the corners of the boot. Almost like a paint edge and I've got a bit of paint flake here below the badge. As we come up onto the actual boot lid itself, it looks all alright. We've got some touch-ins here and a bit of corrosion around the back rear window seal next to the petrol cap. Same again on the right hand side. And the paint's come off. A little bit across the top of the boot there, around the window seal. Window itself looks okay. As we come down onto the left hand side rear quarter, nice and straight on this side. Again, you've got that textured paint on the bottom half. As we come around the arch, it looks all right. And up quarter, around the vinyl, onto the passenger rear door, we've got a decent sized sort of Dent and some cracking of the paint a little bit at the top of the door there and as you come down you'll see there's something going on in the back of this door edge here and there's various bubbles across the bottom of the door as we come along at the bottom of the passenger front door again we've got some blebs at the front edge of it there you can see that up the passenger front door you've got a, a run in the paint there you can see that quite a decent run that in the paintwork there as we come along Onto the passenger front wing, you've got a chip at the front of it. The arch looks okay. A little bit of a mark on the top of the arch, but the rest of it looks all alright. 
as we come around onto the interior now. Bit of a run underneath the driver's door handle as well. Interior wise, front door card looks all all right. Wants a little bit of a clean on the carpet set. The seats themselves seem to be in decent condition. No rips or tears. We've got some wear on the bottom swab, but looks okay in there. The dial's all nice and easy to read as you come across the dash top, all nice and clean. Down the centre console again, nice and tidy and clean in there. A little bit of a split on the gear gator. Just close that back up. As we go around into passenger uh, driver's rear, and once a bit of a clean in the back of here, we've got some corrosion in the door check. But again, the seats look all right. A little bit of a nick there on the bolster, but the rest of it look okay. Back to the driver's seat looks all all right as well. Headlining is nice and clean. Oh, I'm just doing some dodgy camera work. I'm not dropping off anywhere. As we go into the boot now, I'll open the boot up. Spare wheel jack and some oil there. Bit of a aftermarket sort of carpet set in there. Wants a good clean in there, but nice and usable as it is. Into left hand rear. Again, the door card's all all right. Got a little bit of corrosion there as well. As you come up into left hand rear seat again, nice condition, no rips or tears on that side. And the passenger front, again, door card is nice. Dash is all good on this side. And the seat looks all right somewhere on the seat, but no rips or tears in there either. Once a good clean on the carpet set. Into the bonnet now. And we'll get it started up in a second. I'll have a little look around the bonnet when I find the, when I find the catch. There we go. Bit of dodgy camera work for a second. I'll put the bonnet to stay up. Right, into the bonnet now. Have a look at those inner wings there. All fine. All presentable in there. Mechanically, this one seems to start on the button. It's hard one to one man band, but we're going to get it fired up here for you. We'll go through there. I've got a little bit of choke on, which is called start up. There you have it, firing straight up there. A little bit of choke that's called start up, but it's ticking over nice and happy. No one wanting noises from that. No smoke coming out the back of it. And there you have it, the Rover TC in yellow.